Once you understand the basic syntax of JavaScript and how the various data types work and understand methods and properties, it's a good time to switch over and start working with your JavaScript in the browser. JavaScript was originally intended to be used within the browser for web pages to add interactivity, to add behavior to pages. So how do we attach JavaScript to web pages? If we take an example HTML file here, just very simple, no CSS or anything attached, just plain HTML. I've got, this is what the page looks like, there's an H1 and an H2, that's about all that's showing up. Now, I want to add a JavaScript file. So I've got one here, basicweb.js. There's two places where you're allowed to add JavaScript to a web page. One is inside the head, the other inside the body. Now, while you can add it in either place, the recommended location is inside the body, right at the very bottom. So we add a script tag, and at the very least, we need to add a source attribute. SRC stands for source, and this points to your file, whatever it's called. This will load a JavaScript. Now, there is a type attribute where you can specify that it is some other type of script. The default, however, is text slash JavaScript. That's what our files are, so we don't need to necessarily put this in here because it is the default. Now, why is this the best place? Well, very often in your JavaScript, you're going to want to be working with the content on the page. You want to be handling click events and when the user clicks on something or mouses over something else, you want to be able to manipulate parts of the page. So to be able to do that right from the very beginning of your file, you want the browser to have already loaded everything to that point. So the browser will have read everything up to here and be aware of all these different elements on the page. Then if your scripts refers to them, you're good. Now, adding additional scripts, if you've got multiple scripts, you can add multiple script tags. So I have another one called movies.js that I'm going to add in here as well. There. So I've got two JavaScript files. Now, how are these connected? Well, if I open up the other one here, I'm just going to uh, move this over the other side. There we go. So here's my two files. This one's being loaded first, this one's being loaded second. That's just the order that I have them written in my JavaScript, or in my HTML file, rather. Declaring a variable here means that the variable is automatically visible over here. So I could say movies1. Movies sub1. That's going to be Pulp Fiction. Console.log. So if I have this saved. If I jump back to the browser, refresh this to make sure I've got the latest version of it. If you right click, you can view the page source. That opens up a new tab, and I'm using Chrome. It opens up a new tab. There they are. There's the two files. If you click on any of these links, it will open up that file. You'll be able to see that as well. So, where is the console? If you right click, and go to inspect, wherever you've right clicked, that is the element that you're going to be inspecting. This is the development tools for the browser. Here's the HTML. You'll notice that this is highlighted. This is where I right clicked. So that has the highlighting on it right now. Over here, it's going to show me the, the CSS that's applied to this piece of HTML. Uh, just these are the default styles. You can see user agent style sheet. That means this is the CSS that the browser itself is putting on there without me applying anything. These are the default values that are being applied. Now the second tab called console. This is the console that we're logging to. Now right now this is saying uncaught reference movies is not defined. So why would that be? Let's jump back to our script and take a look. Here's movies. There's movies that we're referring to it. But it's saying that this is undefined. So I'm going to open up my HTML and take a look. 
if you look and see here, the order that we've or that we've loaded these scripts shows Basic Web being first. So this script is going to run first, and we're going to be trying to load movies sub one where movies is undefined. So the order of these does matter. Save that. We'll go back to our browser. We'll refresh in our console. There it is. There's Pulp Fiction. Now it's working because we put these in the correct order. So we can attach multiple ones. We know that the files will be able to read from each other, but we still need to take into account what sequence we're loading things in. If we're declaring variables, are we declaring them in the correct order? If I want my second file to be able to use something from the first file, then I better put the first file above the other one in my HTML so that they get loaded in the correct order. And then we're able to access the values. Now there's one other thing in the HTML that I wanted to show you. And that is, there's an attribute that we can add was added not too long ago called async and this tells the browser that it's not supposed to run the script until after it's finished loading the page so it's achieving sort of the same thing as putting the scripts down at the bottom it's just a, a good thing to have in your browser some of the older browsers don't support it but most of the current ones do if we um, actually there's a website called caniuse.com and you can search for CSS and JavaScript and different properties and functions and methods to see if they are supported and we can see here the async attribute for external scripts which is what we were doing here we go in the dark black outlined line here that's the current version of all of the browsers at the point where I'm making this video you can see here in version 8 of Internet Explorer it's not supported version 11 is supported and MS Edge supports it Firefox Chrome were good Safari Opera good Opera Mini doesn't uh, the Android were good across the board so it's IE 8 is kind of the cutoff point where this didn't work but it's a great thing to add in there it's a good practice to get into and this is how you add scripts to a web page.